Now I'd like to discuss some of the purely behavioral tools that quality peer-reviewed science say can improve focus and concentration significantly. I talked about the study from Dr. Wendy Suzuki's lab where they explored a 13-minute meditation done every day for a period of eight weeks. That meditation led to significant improvements in focus and concentration ability, as well as other aspects of cognitive performance. It also improved mood and reduced stress. But this sort of meditation practice has been shown in the study by the Suzuki lab and other studies to really improve people's ability to focus and remain focused. So much so that in the beautiful book, Altered States, they describe a number of different meditation practices, some a little bit longer than the one that I described, one that's 17 minutes, another one that's 30 minutes. Some people meditate as long as 60 minutes a day, although that's quite a long time in my opinion. And as a bonus to that sort of meditation practice, the study from Wendy Suzuki's lab also showed that people experience improvements in sleep and improvements in memory. So not just improvements in mood and reduction and stress and improvements in focus and concentration, but all these other positive benefits from just doing that 13 minute a day meditation practice. It's one that I've started to adopt and have felt tremendous benefit from and that I encourage many of you to try as well. The one cautionary note is because the refocus, as I'll call it, meditation does involve a significant amount of effort and engagement of these prefrontal cortical circuits. It is disruptive to sleep if performed too closely to sleep. So if you are going to do that practice, I recommend that you not do it within the four hours prior to your bedtime.